former live stream super replay of Bloodborne. We are in endgame territory. Beyond endgame. We're we into are. the new super endgame called DLC. Expanded content. That's Dan Tack. He's playing the game. Hey, everybody. We're in a kick-ass Jack Skellington suit. Top? Yeah, this Blazer? Is, what is that? I actually wanted to get it charged up for the stream, but I didn't have time. It is... Uh, Wait, actually, what, what's that mean? It's a glow... Like iron? It's glow in the dark, but you have to like keep it in the sun first, you know, to get it prime. Like a glow in the dark item sometimes do. It's really cool. Sure. All you have to do is turn out the lights now. It, no. Any kind of light will do it, right? It, yeah, it's just not... It has, to, it has to stay in the sun for a while before it works. But yeah. It's a, it is a Jack Skellington blazer from Nightmare Before Christmas. To clear that up. <laughs> nice. And then uh, below him, listening in on this compelling conversation about this glow-in-the-dark jacket is Marcus Stewart. Hello. I am here in a different location. Not at my house. I'm at, uh, down south at my parents' house doing some house-slash-pet sitting. But I, I could not miss this momentous occasion we we might be finishing the or at least doing the no. dlc whatever happening. <laughs> we're not gonna finish today i don't know dan you're pretty amazing you, i am you say you don't this next segment is lengthy maze-like and annoying and plus we got to get the whirly gig saw before we even do that and i don't know exactly where that is so go on <laughs> okay so it sounds like that for you that's gonna take like 35 minutes yeah look at this gun yeah that's that's a cannon yeah, it's from Gears of War. <laughs> he's using it wrong. Oh my god. Oh, he's using it right. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> I don't think he realized what he was using. Oh my god, this guy is beefy. I like his cape. Is that what that is? Yeah. yeah. Everything, everything in Bloodborne has capes, right? It's about capes, hats, guns, and blades. Guys, why don't people wear capes in real life? Like, why isn't that just a fashion thing? Marcus, be what you dream, my friend. <laughs> Start the trend. Yeah, like if I went outside in a cape, I would get, I would get some looks, some bad looks. But I, I was wondering, like, w when did capes go away, as a thing? You would think, if anything, they'd be more popular than ever with the pot, you know, comic books, being as mainstream as they are now, right? Oh god. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Like we all committed to wearing capes together. Would you guys do it? Why not? I wear I wear stranger stuff on a daily basis. I okay. What what would you rather wear? A bringing back the cape? Was the cape ever in style, or is it for specific roles? Yeah, you know, in like Victorian era capes were pretty were nice, right? Or was it the cloak that I I don't know? Yeah. But so anyway, let's, thing, right? let's like, say what is the cape. Like we're talking like Superman cape because you got to think now these things will be sold at like. You know, Hot Topic and Target and all that stuff. So they'll have logos on them and crazy designs, right? We're not just talking standard color. Yeah. Or would you rather have like cool top hats coming back? So basically, Ooh. we're just going to wear Bloodborne outfits. I can live with that. Okay, that's. I would have said capes like 100% until you threw in top hats because top hats are really cool. And now I, I got to think about that. <laughs> I mean, the way you can spin them and put them on your head, the way you tip them, like, good day. You know? I feel like there's more people that wear top hats now than wear capes. Like, you got Slash, you got Cameron Grimes over in NXT. Like, top hats are kind of a thing if you want it to be. No one's well, rocking a cape. two prominent figures. They're the only two, though. Can you name two you know, cape wearers? You don't go to, like, a baseball game and see someone in a top cap. You know, that, that the top hats. That never happens. You used to have those, like, those Uncle Sam, those goofy big top hats, like the American flag ones. See, that's the kind we'd have now. Like, you're totally right. Like, it would be like the capes. It'd have all sorts of crazy designs on them. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say cape, just because top hats. There is some precedent for that in modern times. I want to be the first guy to be like, hey guys, capes are cool. And I think Dan completely blocked out this conversation. But as soon as, the, as soon as which... the, I knew there was gonna be a wrestling reference, and that's that's when I, that's when you lost me. Dan, uh, anything that's not wrestling confuses me. I am just trying. I'm trying to find the saw. Okay. I don't know where the whirly gig saw is. Last week, we had some great viewers tell me it was like in the Blood River. So I'm kind of scouring the Blood River from the the point where they told me to look. I'm sure chat will help you out. By the way, hello chat. Let's see some top hat. Yeah. Oh yeah, we there. should. Uh... Oh, people, people are into it. <laughs> we're bringing we're bringing top hats and cloaks back. Starting right here, yeah. right now. Top hats got one vote, and that's our. Oh no, two. We got. 
two top hats and one cape from Marcus. So I think top hats win it because I, I would go top hats because I'm a, a, a cap guy anyway. Mm. I got to keep my bald dome <laughs> yeah. nice and warm. So does Dan. It helps, yeah. I got. Yeah. I joined the club a while back here, and yeah. hats hats have become a really important part of my wardrobe. It's pro <laughs> Professor Layton wears a top hat, right? Like that is a top hat, not yeah. a just top. Yeah, that's hat. one. Yeah, I think. Like yep. I'm think I think I maybe want to wear his. His is pretty cool. Nice shade of brown, or maybe uh, like the Mad Hatter. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. We'd have to reconfigure how we do headphones like yours. You know, they'd either have to be very tall, going up around the cap, or a part of the cap maybe. You just do like remember the Atari speaker hat, just that, but as a top hat. Atari speaker hat. I gotta look this up. Wait, you I don't remember? You don't know about that? <laughs> Uh-uh. Oh, Maybe was, I did. God, what was it, like, four years ago they made the hat that had a speaker on the brim? Like, just the... Oh, this isn't an old relic. This no, is, like, a new this thing. Is, oh, okay. This is well, I don't Atari. care now. <laughs> this is Atari trying to figure out what it is. <laughs> they made a cap. But this actually kind of took off where, like, some, like, hip-hop artists were rocking it. But it was literally just a regular cap that had an external speaker on the brim, so you would be walking around and people would just hear whatever you're playing. And it, it somehow, like, it didn't get, like, super duper popular, but it, it did gain some traction for a bit. <laughs> Do you think that Atari Hotel is ever going to happen? <laughs> Atari Hotel, excuse me? Oh, you mean the one in Vegas? Yeah, the one. Yeah, that'll you happen. know what? I that would have said the happen. speaker hat would never happen, and they did it, so you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? And then they'll have a store inside the hotel that sells the speaker hats. Reiner, I'm signing up for that hotel right now. Some, some it looks wild. I look at, I, I'm looking at it online now, and it looks like you sleep in a pod from, like, the Matrix. I mean, everything I'm hearing right now is something Yeah, like. everybody, AtariHotels.com. Create a second window if you can. Take a look, way in. There's that. Would you stay here? There's like that concert. Oh, there's, yeah, hey, apparel be, and gear. I'm, I'm going in right here. Would it be cool if the hotel, like every floor, was themed after like an iconic Atari game? Like this is the Pitfall floor. No, I don't want to go to the Pitfall floor. <laughs> you gotta jump over a gator to get to your room. Yara's Revenge. <laughs> That'd be cool. You probably like some oh really nice God. art on the walls. You can buy a shirt that says Atari Hotel on it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> I like how you sell the merch before the... the that way, the, I mean, it's even cooler hotel. if the hotel never happens then, right? Like, exactly. You can get a like, hoodie that's Atari Hotel. It's like the Super Bowl, like, shirts for the team that didn't win. They just, I don't know, what, they just sit in a warehouse or whatever happens to them. Okay, I've been through they this They got a weird, Blood sexy River. robot thing going on here. I don't, I, I'm kind of freaked out by this whole yeah, Atari movement. I almost want to say, hey guys, what do you think Bloodborne would look like on the Atari 2600? And then do a Mr. Caffeine like. I mean, I'm sure somebody's made that. I know somebody made a mock up of like a, an NES era Bloodborne at some point. That's playable. Oh god, what is. This looks yeah. like a good place to keep a whirling saw. This looks yeah. like a good place to get shot. Guys, look what just showed up! That's not Whoa! Amazing. I just ordered it. Wait, what? Oh my god, what? Oh god. How topical! <laughs> right? Talk about speedy delivery. I was just on the site. What the? And there it is. I, I don't think I knew that that actually came out. I don't know if it is. I think I found every item in the zone except for the one that we're looking for. Wasn't the other thing with the hotel was that every room was going to have one of those? I thought, wasn't that supposed to be another promise? I think so. I think so. Yeah, here it is. It's still in pre-order phase. Also, everyone is uh, rowdy in chat right now, Dan, for you. We, we rowdy, as always, but... Hey, somebody tell me where the saw is. <laughs> um, it's funny, but Jeffrey asks, are we still looking for the Whirly Gig? We, we are, are. We are looking for the Whirly Gig, and I've been yeah. down this entirety of the Blood River, I think. Aaron Salazar, and this might be a little dated because, you know, the delay, but... Yeah, says, I understand. Uh, it was up there on that stone, wrong area. Now, I know what that means. I think when you were still in the cave. So I no, guess no, no. In the cave. I, I know what that means, but I also don't know how to get to the top of that stone.
I'm seeing it's Frout. People are combining Friday with Rowdy, so it's Frow Frow Day. I think that's oh. how that would be pronounced. That's some creative of chat. Of words. That's that's very good here at Game Informer. We love that. <laughs> <laughs> we like words. Oh. Wordsmiths. Amateur. Creative that's what use we of are. Wordery. Let's see. Go to the second bonfire in the church. That's is where what we Gamer were. Eight fifty-seven says. Okay. And what do I do once I get there? Uh. Let's see. I'm headed back there right now. I'm excited for this weapon. You you built this up. It's a, it's a really it's a very fun it's very iconic looking. Um. Oh Dan, Reiki says go back to the see, land there it is. just before That's Ludwig. The thing. That's that is, it's up on that rock. Now I don't know how to get there. What, what does uh, go back to the lamp just before Ludwig, then go down the crypt stairs? Okay. Rocky says. Got it. Reiki. Thank you, Rocky. Much appreciated. Okay. Seeing some other follow up comments sort of corroborating that, it looks like. That should be good enough. We basically went everywhere. Everywhere but the one place we were supposed to go. So that 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 checks out. Welcome to Super Replay, everybody. <laughs> this is how things go here. We get a little lost, but that's why we have you guys along for the ride to, to oh, set us straight. Keep it's us so honest. obvious now too. It's like right here. Wow. Oh, I thought that was it for a second. Come on, Marcus, have a little faith. <laughs> I always have faith. In you. I pray for you every night, Dan. Oh, that's awful kind of you. There it is. You know. Yeah. All right. Now this thing takes a little bit of getting Thanks, used chat. to. Thanks, chat. But that's okay because guess what? The next area we go through. So this DLC is basically some really sweet bosses, and there's only basically one zone to go through left. I mean, like a zone and a half. This this next zone that we go through, the level is atrocious. But at the end, we get two different bosses instead of just one. So. When you say atrocious, do you mean it's just really hard? Or that it, it's just it might a take us a couple episodes to get through the zone. It is a maze. There's lots of switches. There's lots of stairs. Um, yeah, it's a huge pain. <laughs> a from software game that features a maze sounds like a, a nightmare. <laughs> it's pretty typical, honestly. But like, this zone tries to kill you a lot, and it tries to like confuse you a lot. You'll see, Marcus. I, I'll, we'll be going to it in a second. But first, we're gonna go back home and outfit this whirly gig saw with as many. Uh, modifications and perks as we can before we continue. Nice. Okay. Speaking of things like similar to the cape conversation of things that were a thing and went away, mazes. Do you think people are still building like like a non-hedge maze maze? Like just a, a concrete or, or brick maze? Do you think anyone's still commissioning those for their property or something? Because I yeah. feel like I would want that. Yeah, I mean, they still have those at, like, uh, some experiential malls, you know, that have, like, you know, the aquarium and the maze, and, and of course, the Baker family, you know, is probably building some out in the, in the woods with the Resident Evil stuff, you know? There's, there's... Yeah, those crazy bakers. <laughs> <laughs> always up to something out there. That's right. Okay. Uh, I've always wanted to make one in front of a bathroom. The Whirly Gigsaw. This is, this is a... Piece of work. Oh wait, I don't have enough decks to use it yet. Well, we'll fix that. I think I need probably one point of decks or something. Oh man, raise your decks. Yeah, we will. We will get enough to use this weapon. Okay, whether immediately or later. We have a plus eight. We're gonna need new more bloodstone chunks. Anyway, I also need to get my decks up. I don't know if I have the. Uh... Let's see if we have the uh... the soul shards. Lying around. Yeah, I think dexterity is on that. That bottom tier of stats in video games that I constantly ignore. Oh, you can either go dex. Basically, in this game, you can go dex or strength. So you're too, well, there's other options, too, but... We're not going to have enough here. We're going to have to get a few more souls. Hmm. That's unfortunate. I can sell some stuff, probably. Let's see. Wush Corgi EFC has a good question. Who the hell is doing all the contracting work the Umbrella Corp, I guess, for Umbrella Corporation in the RE games? His name is, who is Umbrella contracting out to do all that stuff? Yeah. I guess, I would assume it was them, but 
Maybe not. I guess, I'm, you know, they're just all just giant corporation. Kind of like Amazon, right? Just do it all themselves. Oh boy, I actually need a couple points. We're probably not going to yeah. use them like today. I guess that they, that's how they kind of eliminate leaving their fingerprints on stuff. It's having someone else do it. Since everything they do is uh, shady at best, we'll say. <laughs> Alright, we're going to keep making progress. We're going to have to wait a little bit on the saw. Ah. Uh. I just, I just, we need more than one uh, point. We need more than one point. <laughs> we need like three. And it's going to be pretty expensive right now. I like the idea. I want to see this thing. I, I know. I like the idea. I, we're I gonna can't use it yet. <laughs> we're gonna spend this episode chasing dexterity points. We're not gonna do that. No. But um, <laughs> hopefully, we just get the souls organically. Uh, we're not gonna go farm for some decks, but. We will eventually be using the whirly gig, okay? Relax. Okay. Get those souls, or... I didn't think that I would need... Oh, the Undertaker! Yeah. I didn't think that I would need three levels of decks to do it. But hey, you live, you learn. How does it take dexterity to use a big pizza cutter? I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, have you, have you used a pizza cutter in real life? Well, yeah, you know, sometimes pizza can move around Wait on to, the, you know, uh, the cutting that, board. Well, that is true, Reiner. Wait till you, if when you see this thing in action, you'll... This thing is the uh, the picture of a of a strength weapon. All right, it's just a giant. <laughs> You'll see. You'll see. I have a I have a pretty big one at home. I feel like the bigger the cutter, is, the better for pizza. I'm uh, I'm glad we got it. So that's like a big achievement down. All right. So no matter what else happens this episode, we have locked in the whirly gig, and we'll be using it. If we do not get to it this week, we'll be using it next week. Are we going to use that on the final boss? Yeah. Okay. It's dangerous to do so. I know so, some but... bosses call for different weapons and stuff like that, but... Yeah, we'll give it a try. I, oh. I think we committed... Oh, wow! That... <laughs> yeah, these, this is actually... I just wandered into a really nasty, nasty, nasty thing. I just love that we just ran off frame. Oh, wow, he's on you! <laughs> oh, yeah, these, these, are, these are serious enemies. That guy did not care. He just ran off frame and just stabbed the crap out of you. And now he's, I mean, yeah, uh, they're probably going to kill me a few times, to be honest. Chasing you to the ends of the earth. Is it just them? They, they will chase you till they kill you. Man, they don't want anyone taking their pizza cutter. Well, we already got the pizza cutter. That's not part of this equation. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. We pizza just need to uh, power in, the okay. sucker up. That's right. That's right. We need the the decks. We can't use it without the decks. Like we, we can't wield it. We've always said that. I was unaware that it had dex requirements. So. Hmm. All right, chat. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, don't lose the echoes. It's always a key key uh, strategy. We will. Have you? Those of you who have done the next zone know that I'm going to lose the echoes. That's fine. Like I said, if I have to, I'll go get some echoes um, before the next episode and I'll have the axe, the, the thing, get ready to go. But worst case scenario. Yeah, Link 7 says, this area got me so hard the first time. Yeah, this area is... God, it is bad. Like, I complain about from software areas all the time, right? We all do. Blight Town. Yeah. Um... This one sucks. It's like unless you know where you're going, you're gonna get lost. You're gonna die. There's like there's giant, big-headed mutant things with IVs, Reiner. It's so you you talked about you know the muscle memory not being there, but there's got to be certain things that you remember, right? Like, sure. Is this one of those that's just forever etched in your memory, or is or is this also um, kind of something you've forgotten? Uh, I know that the zone exists. I know kind of what kind of enemies we're going to be facing there. I don't know my way through, like, there's... Again, there's, like, going to be lots of switches to activate, doors to open, stairs to climb, and I don't remember the order that these things need to be done. I remember getting lost here for some time uh, in my initial playthrough. It's probably the biggest area that I got stuck in. Not stuck in, that I wandered in and explored, shall we say, in this uh, DLC. We got a question here, very topical. I love questions. Mr. Buttons 23 are any of you revisiting Mass Effect this weekend? Or I'll even say playing for the first time. I don't know, you know, Dan, obviously you've played it. I have. I don't know about Marco. Yeah, I played I played all three of them at the time. Uh, love it. It's one of my favorite trilogies. Never finished Andromeda. Um, I won't be playing it this weekend because I'm just buried in other stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, that's definitely 
I'm gonna have to check, take a rain check on it, but I am looking forward to it. Because I have not touched any of those games in probably, I guess, 10 years it's been, roughly. I am not gonna, I'm gonna be going through Res Evil. Because last weekend I played Subnautica Below Zero, which is a fantastic game. That's out today. Yeah. And that- uh, everyone should play that. It's It's wonderful. One of the best exploratory games I've ever played. Wow. I've been trying to finish the first game for the first time. I've, that's one game I've picked up over and over and just never finished. And now I'm at the end of the first one, and I have played a few hours of the of Below Zero and like early access and enjoyed it. Enjoy yeah. Resident Evil, Reiner. I, I know you will. I, I enjoyed it. No, I'm not gonna play Mass Effect this weekend. I think I'm gonna try uh, Fantasy Star Online Two, close beta. As weird as that sounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's got a real nice big fan base, though. Yeah, you know, I'm really curious. I played PSO, like, back in the day, and it's ancient now, so I'm wondering what this renovated new game looks like, you know what I mean? Very curious. Mm. Yeah, I'm with you there, Reiner. I still also have to very much finish Resident Evil. still have a long way to go in that. I love it. It's so good. It is. It's, it's pretty short, so... Yeah, it was very enjoyable. There, I obviously, I have some very mixed feelings about parts of that game, but uh, like overall, I enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm excited to watch the uh, the spoiled that you guys recorded yeah, earlier. Yeah, it, just, it was a fashion. spicy spoiled. If you have finished Resident Evil 8, you should go watch the spoiled at Game Informer. It was. Uh, Who do we have on that? It's well, Fantac. We a, yeah, we it's had a big Alex. Group. It was me, Alex, Liana, Kim, Suriel Vasquez. And Blake, it was a Can really wait. packed house. Very well, let me... Oh, skill. We need skill. See, Duke Faison says the only reason I'm not playing Resident Evil 8 is because I'm waiting for word on VR support. Oh, you might be waiting a while. <laughs> you know? It was yeah. a big part of Seven. It was. Yeah, I've been surprised that it hasn't been mentioned at all. All yeah, right. I wonder if they designed it as such. You know what I mean? Like, because they did seven for sure. You think they'll announce it with the uh, the new PSVR? Maybe. I'll Boy, you, yeah, those specs on that thing. Whew. We are two skill points what away from meat cutter. All right. What is that going to cost? Five hundred bucks? Six hundred bucks? Mm. If those specs are to be believed, right? How much was the first one? It was like four hundred. It was pretty affordable, wasn't it? Two ninety nine. But yeah. that was also like the, the day it hit. It was, you know, it was old school VR. Whereas yeah. this new one sounds, you know, like one of the most high end units out there. So yeah, yeah I'm excited. Yeah, but I'm yeah, glad I haven't picked up the first one. Res Evil. Yeah. I, I kept putting it off. Like I'll get PSVR eventually, eventually, and now it's like, oh, okay, I'll just wait. <laughs> Some good games on there exclusively for it, but the tech just wasn't there. Hmm. Comfortable though. Super. Yeah. Comfortable. And well, hard to set up, track? yeah. <laughs> Difficult to set up, but comfortable unit, and uh, yeah, fairly light. And but I'm I'm super excited about this next one. The only thing is, you know, it needs to be tethered to be able to do what they want to with the graphics and and processing power. But yeah, I wish it wasn't tethered. That's what I love about my quest is it's not having to worry about that cable. I actually saw a guy in my building, my apartment building, outside on his, uh, he was like sitting on the little garbage can thing in front of like all the apartments where you put your trash at the end of the day. And he was just like smoking a blunt with his Oculus 2, just living his best life. <laughs> it was just this weird thing as I was coming home from a bike ride. And he's just sitting outside his door, just like totally strapped in with the things, just smoking away. He had like a beer next to him. I'm just like, all right, man, <laughs> go for it. <laughs> You like yeah, to open. You probably find a better spot than on a trash can <laughs> to get your your question in. But yeah, I was like, I guess he, yeah, I was like, I don't know if it's like family if they're being busy or loud inside, and he just wanted to go somewhere that was. I was like, you're outside still. I don't know how immersive it is, <laughs> but he heard me coming. He like raised the headset to kind of look at me. And he's like, who's, who's that? Like, don't mind me, just passing through. That's, that's amazing. That's the dream, right? Reiner, untethered VR. You can play it, it anywhere. It is. Play it anywhere. On, on you trash know, in your b- bedroom, in your living room, <laughs> or on a trash can. Yeah. Yeah. Os- Oscar the Grouch approved. That's that's epic. All 
Alright, we're making our way through the research lab. Again, this is a long, complicated zone with lots of, like, unlocks, doors, and traps. What the hell? <laughs> saw someone yeah. throw something at Yeah, the, the little hey. ones aren't so dangerous. The big ones with the big IVs, they'll kill you very quickly. This is a question I've always wanted to ask in a live stream, and it's about Oscar the Grouch. <laughs> uh, ha have we ever seen inside of his trash can? I'm sure that's canonically we have, right? Like, there's got to be an episode where he takes the gang in there. Yeah. I feel like that's happened. Yeah, like, I don't know if I'm making that up that, like, Dan said it just seems like that would happen, but I feel like I I, I remember that happening. Listen, Isn't it like another world going, in there? Isn't yeah, it like, he goes in there and you hear all sorts of crazy stuff going on, and then he comes back up with, like, huge objects, and you're like, what's down there? Yeah, I feel like there was a like a skit where they went in there and it was one of those like it's way bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. Like thing. These, are, these are writers from the seventies and eighties, okay? If they didn't have the interior trash can <laughs> thing, I'd be massively surprised. <laughs> well now they're writing for like their HBO writers, right? Right. They they Yeah, they're doing Game of Thrones and Right. <laughs> yeah. And Sesame Street. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Like the Daenerys was inspired by Oscar. Oh my gosh, this place oh my gosh. It's amazing. I love the sound design here. Yeah, and again, there's just so much nasty stuff in here. And it's a long level with multiple shortcuts. When we get to the end, uh, this is pretty much the the only full level left we have to do, so bear with me. Yeah, Link7 says, honestly, one of the best areas in the DLC. Really is cool to see the research halls in the past. There's not many areas in the DLC. Oh, this guy. This guy's a big problem. Mm. We will likely die to him. No. He's very serious with that IV. Trust me. I think I actually hey, mentioned. I think I actually mentioned being smashed with the IV in my review. Okay. Yeah. He does look pretty serious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he will kill you if that hits you. You. You're dead. Yeah. That'd he be just weird wants to give you a vaccine, man. He just, he just wants to. <laughs> well, I accept take care the vaccine. First shot. Yeah. That's, am... that's what my nurse did when I got mine. <laughs> I am excited Get about over here. returning to some semblance of reality at some point soon here. Like, legitimately excited. I might go outside today. <laughs> we got uh, we got an answer. Yes, in the movie Elmo in Grouchland. I have not seen that. That's, <laughs> That's so fitting. Is that real? Somebody made that I've up heard the movie. Yeah. Well, yeah, I don't know if it's real. I, I, yeah. I've heard of it. In the 80s or whatever. Is it, yeah, I can't. I know that movie exists. I don't remember when it came out. Um, is that 80s Sesame Street? That movie? Uh, it sounds like it was more it up. I gotta turn off this Atari Hotel website. Oh, here. I really want to get that Atari Hotel shirt now. Oh, look at this. All right, Reiner. I think we need to send me on a trip to Vegas to uh, go to the Atari Hotel. What do you think? <laughs> I think so. I think yeah, we should do. Uh, we should record the next Super Replay there. Let's do it. Hey. Replay real life. Oh, we, we just do. We do everything in the Atari Hotel. Now, like this. This just looks like the worst room ever, right? Like, see something creeping around in there. There's a lighted object. This is like a traditional From Software setup. Yeah, that's when you just like slowly back up, close the door. Pretend you didn't see this room. See, I knew there was gonna be a guy there, and he still got me. <laughs> they, they lost the raptor to you. <laughs> Sucker to you in. Me. Yeah, this movie came out in 1999. Wow, that's like really old for Sesame Street. Yeah. Hey, it cost 26 million to bring Grouchland to life, but it only brought in 12 million in the box office. Mm. So is Elmo Grouch was done at that point, yeah. I guess. Is, is Grouchland what the inside of his can called? Like, that's the world inside of his can is Grouchland? No, it's like a whole world that kind of looks like Junkrat's level in uh, Overwatch. Wow, oh, really? Okay. It's like kind of Wild Westy, at least on the poster. Yeah, it looks kind of crazy. I'm in. Uh, man, I'm going to have to go find this. Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Hey, let's do a watch along with the community. Let's do it. I'm, I'm like, bizarrely right now. By this. Right now. Yeah. yeah, forget Bloodborne. Let's talk about the real stuff here. <laughs> You can save this, right? We'll come back to this. Look at that. They put that machine gun dude on there. I can't even get to him. No railings on this. I know. On that staircase. I know. It's like Star Wars Death Star design. Like, it's the staircase. Why don't you have railings on the Death Star? And they're... As you can see, they put all kinds of stuff to try to kill you on the way. And the, yeah. And then they add well, elements of, like, turning things to move the stairway. It's, it's very... It's a very from software area. Reminds me a lot of the, um... 
I don't know, the tower in the first game. Yeah. Plus, Reiner, I think the idea for the Death Star is like, if you if you aren't competent enough to walk these walkways without falling to your death, then you don't deserve to be here. <laughs> Well, that is true, but, see, but they, then also the stormtroopers can't aim their guns, so... They put the bird on there. <laughs> see, I, do you see that crap? Like, I was fine, and then they just threw a bird on me to knock me off. That's such a... It's completely unfair. <laughs> you, ever, you ever had a, th a bird thrown at you? Now I gotta go through everything again. Oh, Welcome to Bloodborne, the research mm. laboratory. This level. This okay, we gotta level. remember that bird's up there. Don't worry, I won't forget. It's gonna be hard to forget. Yeah. Dan, look up. I, thanks. Or down. I'm gonna try to run this time. We might die as a result, but I'm gonna try to like- The Jeffrey says, Dan missed Upper Cathedral Ward. I mean, we did not do Upper Cathedral Ward. Uh, that is not part of the DLC. It is an optional part of the main game. Another thing that you can uh, continue to request. I frankly do not find up a Wow. Cathedral. Yeah, if you don't, if, they kind of want to force you to take your time and go through the whole stupid thing. All right, we need. Do you have your notepad? No, I don't. I just realized I didn't bring it with me. I have. I, I can queue up chat. Actually, you want to hear something really stupid? Then I. Like one of those moments where I just woke up in the middle of the night and was like, man, that should be a thing. Was. A, a, remember uh, Coming to America Soul Glow? A little jerry curl spray and had the great song. If they did Dark Soul Glow, and it just made your hair match the hairstyles and from software games, but it had the same theme song. Hmm. Like you got your soul glow, or whatever. Yeah, I want well, that. Okay. Like, but yeah. Miyazaki's singing it instead of that like soulful <laughs> person. <laughs> Has to be Miyazaki. <laughs> He's known for his. Uh, Soulful uh, hymns. Uh, I don't want to be in here, do I? First and foremost, and then his game second. Yeah, that's what he does when he's not. That's why Elden Ring's taking so long. <laughs> he's too busy. Out. What? Dan, this is the first time I heard a little uh, dread in your voice. Why don't you want to be in here? I told you I dreaded this zone. This whole zone is just total, like, it's the epitome of, like, the whole area is just, like, rigged to kill you in every way, right? Like, it's still it's still really nice designed and everything, but I at some point the uh, the From Software formula of hey there's a thing behind this wall it's gonna kill you. <laughs> this level it's too much, yeah, too relentless. This level is just like it, it gets annoying. Yo, you get that going? It cut out completely, Marcus. Like, killed your microphone when it hit a certain note. It's the thought that counted. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Like, it, he hit a note and it cut out. <laughs> that was Miyazaki, by the way. I didn't know. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's he's, not he's hitting notes movie. that I can't even register anymore. Got him on the line? <laughs> All right. Oh, God. So, this is a helpful person. someone else. And I think we can get stuff by doing her quest chain. I don't know if we need the stuff. Could you do something? What's up with her arms? Uh they are tied to a chair. Yeah, okay. she's super tied to that chair. brain fluid. Brain fluid? Yes. Please. Could you I need brain? So if we can find the brain fluid, that's a uh, little question. I forget what we get from it, but I think I believe it's pretty good. We won't need it for this playthrough, whatever it is, I don't think, but that's a, this is a shortcut to the bottom floor, so that's good, sort of. It's one, one less thing to worry about, I suppose. <laughs> As I said, good, Dan. It's a large zone. Yeah, at least I yeah, got my stylish, look this? my stylish duds. Yeah. You're like a mix between Keanu Reeves and the king from Burger King. That is definitely what we're going for. Can you that's, imagine that's that? That's Cheddar, Cheddar Biggs, remember? That's yeah, right. Cheddar Biggs! Cheddar Biggs. It doesn't take any mess from anyone. God, what do you think it feels like to have your head? Like, just have that on your head or whatever's going on there. You play through this zone, you get a good sense of it. <laughs> <laughs> Probably really warm. Hmm. 
yes, warm would be squishy. Yeah, warm and squishy. I think he feels like fluid. congested, maybe like you're like you yeah. know when you have your stuffy and your head just kind of feels all stuffy. You think it's like that times a thousand? Yeah, like these rats. Just because, just because we had rat assets, let's put them in the freaking tower, you know? <laughs> like, they don't even make sense. Great. What the hell? Oh, my oh. God. <laughs> well, you're okay. Wait. No, you're not. <laughs> mm. Hmm. Chat's going to be a compelling place to be right now. Ooh. Oh, damn. Waiting for it to buffer up here. Yeah, they've got a, it's, they're a little behind. I'm sure no one would ever clip that. Don't worry. You kept your cool though, kinda. I mean, you kind of you know, did a little little shake in that chair. You gave him something. I've I've been through it so many times before. It didn't even shock me. You know what I mean? Like that's just like that's what I talked about the zone. They made this like a, it's just like a death fun house. None of it is fair. It's okay having like one or two of those in the zone. You know, the dude behind the corner, the the fall off, but this whole area is just rigged with all the all that kind of stuff. And it's extremely dangerous because of it. And not in an interesting way. Also, that death proved that you probably want to get a job in a Death Star. There, there. Are we going to have the, the Death Star? The Death Star? The, you know, we Star. kind of foreshadowed that death. Yeah. So he, he's glowing, indicating that he has your souls. How, how that is correct. He? Why does he have responsibility for that? Because like, I died close to him, so the game counted it as him getting him. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, he's kind of claiming the glory. It's like, eh, are it. we going to stick these souls on the floor where he died, or are we just going to, you know... We'll give them to an enemy, it's fine. He'll just hold on to them for now. Mm -hmm. All right. Glad you let your souls So blow. this stairwell, yeah. stairway goes to nowhere. No, Why this is here? really intense. Is it, though? <laughs> is it, though? This. Oh, okay. Now you don't attack everybody on site, Mark, in this zone. There's a bunch of neutral uh, brain creatures. Yeah. Is that a sunflower? It is. It's planting a sunflower. Oh. Well, that's nice. Just trying to bring some sunshine and happiness to this terribly depressing castle or hospital, whatever it is. Research laboratory. Where they conduct research. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, that one's not friendly. Headbutting you? Yeah, these brain creatures are uh, a nasty bunch, let me tell you. That's what I call using your head, am I right, guys? That was pretty good. Eh? Yeah, I liked it. I give it a, um, a seven. It's not bad. Oh. You know? Okay. Reiner? Oh, that's just this room. Uh, 8.25. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. That, bud. That guy's in a wheelchair? Uh, seems... Well, Marcus, they have, uh, massive shotguns and Gatling guns, so, uh... You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, I mean, they, uh, I guess they're, they are literally rolling up on people. <laughs> yes. Uh, hmm. Damn, what can I get for that one? I will give it a little higher. I'll give that one a 7.5. Okay, awesome. But Jeffrey says, har har, Marcus. I, I think that's 100% genuine. Sounds, sounds like, like it. Yeah, sounds legit. You don't type laughter unless you mean it. That's true. That's very true. I have never typed LOL unless I was actually laughing out loud. <laughs> it's never happened. I love watching people type LOL and they're like super stone-faced. Yeah. What happens in today's Zoom world? <laughs> Oh, 
one brain at a time. As we wander through this wicked world. See, I'm tempted to oh try god! To oh my <laughs> god, the way she the way she just appeared was yeah. terrifying. <laughs> and I mean the damage they do. You make one little mistake, and that's it. And they kind of, for like I said, like you saw the time that I tried to run through without fighting. Yeah. It was a complete disaster. There was this corner because there's so many of them, and they're all deadly. They seem to move surprisingly fast. They, they are very quick when their vision is based on movement. <laughs> oh, oh. No! Oh, they're throwing stuff. <laughs> yeah, they, they throw stuff. It's really nasty. They throw stuff, they'll claw you. And there's, as you can see, there's so many of them, it's ridiculous. Like, oh my gosh, there's another three. I know. Oh no, dang it. Just an absurd number. Like, so no. if, you, if, you leave any, if you leave any on the way, they catch up to you and kill you. So, like, they, they try to avoid that whole, like, what a lot of people like me do once you have a good handle on the From Software games, you know, you just run through an area, right? So, should we do Sekiro next? Should we, right after we're done with this, should we go right into that, or is that too insane? I mean, it's not too insane. I, I don't know, we'll see. Right? Is that even a super replay? Yeah. It'd be a good one, I think. How many hours do you think that would be? I have no idea. Uh, great question. I'll tell you what, though, I'd love to see somebody else on the sticks for the next super replay. You don't want to see Marcus me, doing Sekiro? It would... Force me to finish it finally, <laughs> if nothing else, I guess. I would I would need Dan there as my my coach. I can coach through that game. I want you to be the the Mickey to my Rocky. Okay, okay. Reiner, you want to be my Adrian, I guess. Sure. There you go. <laughs> Got the full squad. Kind of the role I was born for. On the plus side here, we are getting. Good amount of uh, blood echoes while we meticulously carve our way through this research lab. You're doing good, man. I think we were almost to like a checkpoint last time when we cashed in our chips. I really do not want to have to fight that guy unless we have to, but last time we had to. I'm just hoping he leashes this time instead. Hmm. Uh, we got some shade being thrown at you, Dan. Oh, really? Yeah, Mr. Flash, U174, says, still using the axe? Y'all scrubs. Yeah, what are you using? <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, I, give, I, I give that comeback a nine. <laughs> I like the idea of Sekiro being the next one. I really want to see Dan play it, though, because he's, he's, no, <laughs> he's just the Souls man. And Sekiro is very different than Souls, trust me. Uh, that's That one, again, it's more of an action game. Some of the framework is there, but okay, we made it to the roof again. Okay, here, we're up here again. Where's the bird? I don't know. It's up here somewhere. There he is. There's probably more than one burb. Oh my god. I don't even... Do we even have to be up here? That's what I'm wondering. Or if it's just, if it's just uh, like an item up here, then... I assume... It's not did. worth I guess it if it's just an item. <laughs> Yeah, I guess we'll chat right, a little yeah, though, I this guess. Thing is, we gotta get to we have to get past the yeah. burb to that crank. That's what we gotta do. We have to turn the stairways. Yeah. Uh, Chris Hodge uh spewing some blasphemy saying I would swap out the crown. No. We will we will not be doing that. We love the crown. We never Exactly. The I crown mean, yeah, stays it, on. If we were looking to be min maxing our stats, then sure, but the crown has style points. It's not always about the uh you know, the hard stats sometimes. There's a sentimental meaning. Listen. And we are we are going to change to the uh, the Whirly Gig Saw shortly. Yes. If not this episode, next. Yeah, I love the sound of those birds. You expect them to like mock or something like that, but no, they, they just sound like hell. <laughs> they do. They really do. All right. Here it is. Where is he? He's on the other side of this thing, so we had we went all the way around to get to the switch. Wait. Oh god, don't do that. <laughs> don't sit down. He needs a nap. How are you holding up, Dan? 
I'm doing all right. I just like I knew this area was gonna take a while. It can be confusing and dangerous. Okay. Yeah, Chris Hodge accepts that the crown is not going anywhere, but thank, thank does you, but does suggest that we do the queen side quest. Uh, the viable. I, I we, we, there's a lot of things that we could do. All right. We have to pick our battles here. Um. Is this a shortcut? No. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Hmm. I'm nervous, Dan. I'm. I'm. I'm not nervous, but. I don't know where this goes exactly. Oh god. <laughs> There's an IV man. This one looks like we're gonna have to fight too. And he's on a look. Can you knock him off? I mean, I'm afraid that if I go into that. S oh my god. Oh, look at that speed, right? it's, <laughs> it's so unsettling. <laughs> trying to knock him off would put me at risk of getting knocked off. I am trying to avoid nice that. Nice moves. I think I lost his attention. That would cool when you're right. That was pretty dangerous. Let's get dangerous. Ooh, a gem. That's probably good. You streaming anything this weekend, Dan? Yeah. Uh, Yakuza 0. Um, hmm. PSO2, probably. Maybe some of the Getsu Fumiden. Roguelike by Konami. And of course, some marbles. Marbles on stream. Marbles? <laughs> yes. Get this. It's a game where. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Mm. It's a game. <laughs> it's a game where the viewers and you roll marbles together. Oh no. Yeah, we're gonna. Like, just playing the classic game marbles with the ring? It's like marble racing. With, like, oh, okay. uh, mouse trap style courses with all kinds of, like, cool gadgets and stuff. Believe me, it's actually a lot more fun than it sounds. People are saying stop chatting. They're nervous. As, I mean, as nervous as I am. The, the chatting is actually a benefit toward keeping my mind off what's occurring on the screen. Oh, okay. We'll, we'll just chat um, it up then. I am yeah. going to die here. We are bitten off way more than I can chew. But Yeah, you're getting chased by one of those hooded guys, I see. Yeah, the, uh, the hunter is, the, is of the most concern here. Nice so maybe, maybe the hunter will stay in that room. So Dan, is this your first playthrough of Yakuza 0? It is my first playthrough of any Yakuza game other than 7, so yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. It's my first time that meeting was... a lot of the characters. Um, yeah. I, you know, it's very different going to that game after 7. I think I really love the turn-based more, and I think a lot of people are really disappointed with me for that, but I think the turn-based stuff is pretty oh. great. <laughs> I, like like how you, I like how you knocked that guy. Yeah, that was good. Um, I, uh, I went the opposite route where my first Yakuza was zero, and then I jumped. Well, I guess I did Judgment in between that, but then jumped straight to seven, so I haven't done any of the other ones yet. Okay, Hunter is active. Hunter is active. Don't know where I'm going. Mm. Like I, you know, the, the issue right now, Reiner, is I don't know where I'm going right now. Right. Reiner, Reiner's so nervous. Look at him. I am. Yeah, Reiner, I'm Reiner's nervous. My both nails both here, and I don't yeah. do that. <laughs> okay, this is good. This could be a shortcut since this is an elevator. Let's see where this goes. Reiner, I like to think that if you were wearing a top hat, you would slowly pull it over your eyes to show that you were scared. Does this work? Yeah, that'll do. Hey, see, this is good. We got elevator room to elevator room. So we have a shortcut, gang. We're locked in. Relax. You may breathe a little easier. If death takes us, we're close to, uh, to coming back. Good. Great. Oh. <laughs> That's good, because this dude is not, does not mess around. <laughs> He's just waiting for you. Yeah, do you see that? He was actually waiting for me up the elevator. He's... Oh, wow, 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 wow. He's got some range. Yeah. Wow. Using a, a whip? Yeah, uh, a threaded cane. Oh, okay. That's cool. So it's like those a, need those need to come back too. 
canes so it's, or it's, it's like a sword cape, cane. top hats, and threaded canes. Well, I think I think canes still exist. <laughs> no, this one where you stretch it out, it's like a oh, like a whippy cane, like weapon canes. Yeah, jump rope. Were those ever a thing? <laughs> I don't think the threaded canes were. Certainly, sword canes were in style. Oh yeah, at some point in history. Oh, I absolutely when I, you know. Become an old man. That's I need to have a sword cane like that. When, when, when you're an no... old man, you're going to be carrying a concealed weapon around. That's that's great, Marcus. So keep that in mind. <laughs> I mean, legally, they're not. I don't legal. know if you need a license for a sword. It's a, it's a, a sword concealed cane. weapon. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to just break the law because I'm old and I don't care at that <laughs> there point. There you go. Like, I'm going to die any day. So what are you going to do? Throw me in jail? <laughs> just so you can so you can be walking around with that sword. All right, that's style. That is... Dan, is there no greater reveal than your cane actually being a sword? Like, you just surprising someone with that? No, that's... I'm trying... Now I don't want to know the situation that you're surprising someone with. It's like, hey, what's up? I don't know. Like, you you know, when you're old, you get grumpy, so you're a little more irritable. If someone sit, looks at you the wrong way and you just, you know, brandish your little sword cane. Those damn kids are making noise next door. I think this someone... Is, this is the boss. Story. By the way... Someone made a real threaded cane from Bloodborne. Like, functional? Yeah, well, you know, I looked at it. It, it looks pretty cool. Huh. Okay. But otherwise, no. That's a fictional thing. You think we can, like, commission him to make more for us? Wait. I don't want to go in here yet. Oh, crap! Oh, what is this? No, I don't, boss? Have, any, oh. I don't have any potions. What the? What is this? This is a boss. I am not ready for it. Is that a tree? They are living failures. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Failed experiments. I couldn't die about it. I first thought you had to attack it. I don't have it. I don't you have got any. This I don't have got any this. heals. No, they do a lot of damage. Yeah, Wait, you got it. Wait very till you see what these things do. No, they keep coming. <laughs> and they have very powerful arcane magic that I'm going to need to heal through. Very slow, though. No. They're slow now. Wait till there's like seven of them on the screen. I mean, Dan, it'll be really impressive if you guys will try Stop. unintentionally. Yeah, well, that ain't gonna happen. And I think you can do it. I might not have my signs, but I still have claps for you. You haven't seen the big thing they do yet. Which is fine, but I will need healing, and I, I don't have any because I didn't go back to the, the thingy. Rocky says, okay, but... Rocky says this fight is Garbo. It's not a good fight. But. An incredible fights right after it, so it makes up for it. Oh. Oh no, he's doing the thing. Also, Duke Faison says, I almost bought a sword cane back in 2008 because I thought it would be clever for self-defense. It's, it's certainly cool. I mean, I'm not going to knock sword canes. What happened? I killed one. You killed those two and they're gone? Okay. Yeah. Let's go, Dan. Come on, dude. But Reiner, this fight is... Dan. I can do this fight. I can't do this Dan. fight with one healing potion. Got it! But nice. Dan Helsing can. They do that stuff. And that's when you transform into your alter ego and start kicking ass. Yeah. yeah. Put on that cool top hat. Oh. Cloak. Oh. That's a great... That's a great mental image. <laughs> I put on my robe and wizard hat. <laughs> It's like you either look like a hunter or you just wind up looking like a weird darkling duck. <laughs> either way, that'd be cool. On, yeah, that'd be on brand oh. for you. <laughs> hey, pretty good, Dan. I mean, it was alright for four potions. So I'm guessing um, that's an optional fight. No, that's the boss of the area. But I was, I was hoping there was like a save point or a shortcut before it, which we didn't get. But we we do have a shortcut that's fairly close by. Yeah, and we're actually going to call it there, Dan. Oh, okay. A little shorter, but, you know, I think that's a good stopping spot. We did get a... Let's see, what progress did we make? I mean, we got honestly, that, we, we made got a lot that of progress. Shortcut. That, yeah. We're at the boss of, like, the last major zone of the DLC. There's one other zone your, after this, but... You got your whirly gig? We got the whirly gig. We'll get it, shortcut. We'll get it set up. Yep, we have a shortcut to the boss. Saw boss. It's a pretty good episode, man. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Thanks for being here. All right. Yeah, thanks for uh, for checking out the stream. And uh, Dan, we got we got something to say, or are we? Uh... Do we? Are we? Are we going to say all right? 
Um, sometime soon, we are going to be streaming uh, exclusively on Twitch. We're going to have subscriptions. We're going to have emotes. We're going to have all the cool, fun stuff that you're used to having on Twitch. Uh, and that'll be taking place very soon. I don't have an exact date for you, but in the very, very near future. And um, I'm excited about that and the cool stuff it's going to let us do on the streaming end over here. And then, uh, you know, over here on YouTube, you know, if, if you watch them here, you will get the replay. It just won't be live. Yep. But right after we air it, we'll, we'll be here uh, and all video channels where you consume our content. So, but yeah, we want to have a lot of fun on Twitch, really grow the community there and have fun interactions. And uh, yeah, that's a, a change we're going to be making. So we'll keep you posted on that. But uh, just prepare. It's coming. Yeah. Uh, but thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks, Dan, for another great uh, playthrough. And Marcus, for your commentary. Always fun. We will be back in seven days. See you then, everyone.